Welcome everybody to the Krog Cordy Show's Cash Vault. I'm here with Krog on Discord. Say what's up, Krog. What's up, Krog? Howdy, everybody. All right, all right. Got a couple questions here for each other. And then, of course, we always have a question for you guys. Put down in the comments below. If you haven't already, sub. Hit us that sub button or give us a like, whatever you can do. Not that difficult. It's free. Please. Thank you. Um, all right, so we're going to get right into this. I'll... If you notice my hat looks invisible, it's because it's green, so that's why it might look a little weird, but yeah, it looks black. It looks black on the screen. All right, let's get right into this. We got Krog's question. I'll, yeah, I'll start with Krog. Uh, what is your top three games you thought you would never play? Why did you, like, why was that? And then why did you come back to them? All right, so here we go. Number three. We got the original Guild Wars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, because the very first thing I think I saw you do in that game was pick up a basket and bring it back to somebody for a quest. Right. And then, like, the next one you had to, like, do something. It was, like, one of my first, not, like, my first experience with MMO, but kind of, I guess. I didn't play too many MMOs before that. Yeah, I was pretty sure like we even got you an account and everything, and we started playing through the beginning, which is the beginning, obviously. There's not much to it. You get a couple yeah. skills. There's yeah. not much you can really do. So, yeah, I, I remember that. And then like I just kept playing it, and I got other people into it, and I was just like, dude, you just got to give this game a try. And then yeah. once you played some of the PvP in that game, that's what I think hooked you. Oh, yeah, I just answered why you came back to exactly. <laughs> well yeah i knew well, that I was gonna say that but yeah right exactly. once i played that pvp it was hook line and sinker pretty much I just kept coming back to it i even came back to the, that game recently so all yeah. righty yeah. all right what else we got number two it's not even a game <laughs> it's the og xbox i never thought i would own and Xbox being a PlayStation fanboy. Right. But I've owned multiple Xbox and right. multiple Xbox 360s. I was kind of so thinking of that too. Like, I was never really a fanboy. Yeah, we were always PlayStation because Final Fantasy and stuff like that. But, you know, but yeah, I don't know. It was something about Xbox. I don't know why we got it. Maybe because of Halo. I'm guessing that I was played probably. Psycho not, actually. There, there was a lot of good games on it. It was just, yeah. And then yeah. when I got the. When I got my 360, I got it from a buddy, so I get he had like 40 games or 25 games, so it was kind of a good deal. And then I pretty much played all those games. I remember Krog would come over, and he'd be playing like yep. Star Wars Legos. And shit. It's good though. Yeah. All right, what well, else we got? Never thought I'd own one and ended up owning. Wait, wait, wait. Is that the last one or was that two? No, that was two. All right, now number one. We got Dota 2 and League of Legends. They're just together. It's basically just MOBAs in general. Right. First time you hear that concept, oh, you start at level one every game. And then yeah. and the games last like an hour. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely at first, like first glance, I was like, it's the same map over and over. And like, yeah, I don't want to. Like, yeah. why can't I keep my guy? Like, I want to play and get... Then you realize you actually do level up outside of that, and it's for, like, ranking and stuff, and then you can unlock yeah. other things. But it's just, it's, it's a just, really competitive game mode, so... More yeah, MOBA in general, at first, I really, really hated it. Mm -hmm. And I didn't understand it, and then we got hugely into Dota 2, and yeah, I obviously loved it. Yeah, Dota 2 we definitely play a lot more of. Uh, League, I know you weren't feeling it as much. Um, cause it's less, but I did play some. Yeah. Right, it's less complicated. I was digging League um, just because the people we were playing with at the time. But, yeah, I mean, yeah. kind of over that at the moment. I was going to try and get really heavy into it, and I did a whole bunch of research, and I was trying to like up my rank, but I'm just like, the amount of time i got to put into that. and you know, I like streaming better. I'd rather talk about I'm the games than play them at this point. Yeah. <laughs> and technically that's like half of Dota 2 right alright Dota 2 is way more and Krog gave me an interesting question this time around I'm just gonna say it cause it's kinda complicated but okay. basically my 
favorite Mario game, my favorite Zelda game, my favorite Crash game, and my favorite Halo game. So out of those franchises or series, for each series, what was my favorite? So I'm going to start off with Halo, and it's going to be Halo 2. That was some of the first Whoa. like matchmaking I've really played, other than like Counter-Strike Source. But on like a console, it was one of the first like games you could actually get on. But mainly it wasn't even that. Um, I mean, that was cool, but I barely played that. It was more just the storyline. They added more guns, more maps. Um, it seemed like they got the mechanics a little bit better. Because I felt like one, that pistol is just too strong. There's no point in using any other gun. <laughs> you know, yeah, and like, other cool. than the sniper, but that... Oh, the sniper, right. Oh, yeah. Right. So, I just like it. They, I think they balanced it a lot better. The storyline was really good for the, the... It's just the one that I remember the most. I know it's the one yeah, that I played the most. Yeah, 3 was really so. good, too. Yeah, 3 was really good, too. That one was great for online. That's when they started getting the match making really well, and a lot and of people it, played that. I also enjoyed Halo Reach. And then there was also the uh, RTS Halo. What was that called again? Oh, Halo Wars. Halo Wars. I actually forgot about yeah. that. That actually probably would have been my top. I didn't even... probably. Yeah, I, I liked it. Halo. Halo Wars was pretty sweet. And then uh, they had Halo Wars Two. I played a little bit of that, mm -hmm. but I didn't. I didn't get into it as much just because I got it on that Xbox Game Pass. So like, I didn't feel like paying ten bucks a month. I just wasn't yeah. playing it at the time. We were. I think we were playing Diablo Two or something at the time. So. I wasn't putting any time into it. It just wasted money. All right, so moving along on with Crash Bandicoot. Um, I got Crash Bandicoot 2, the Cortex Strikes Back. It's the one that I remember getting. I don't know if I got it like for a birthday or something, but I remember it on the PlayStation 1 and just like playing through and beating it multiple times. It was just like a really good game. It had all the little teleports and stuff. I thought it was the warped at first, but then I time warped. Yeah, wasn't it? No, warped is after that. It's the third one, and there's like a Miss Bandicoot and stuff. I think, but no, it's that one witch doctor looking guy or that mad scientist looking guy. That's the Cortex Strikes Back. So, oh, gotcha. Yeah, I looked it up a little bit. Looked at some pictures of it to make sure whatever one was in my head. And once I saw the pictures from that, I'm like, that was the one that I played a lot of. <laughs> I think we played all three of them, but that was the one that like is my go-to when I think Crash. All right, moving along. Like yeah. Right, exactly. All right, next we have Zelda, and it's gonna be Ocarina of Time. Um, nice. I know the mask one was, you know, one of your favorites, Dora's Mask or whatever it's called. It was okay. A lot of people right. don't really like that one because it's essentially zelda with a time limit right ocarina of time came out and it was like one of the not one of the first like 3d environment um rpgs but it was like the first real zelda one that they had and like the, going through the puzzles and then finding the sword and finding all the different attachments and everything i just remember i think it might be more nostalgic too because i remember going over to my buddy's house our, our longtime friend um and just like wasting hours on that but i remember on 64 i mean we'd be playing like stuff like wave race cruise in usa but when we had that game i think we just kept taking turns playing our own accounts until we beat it it was good and then you ended up buying 64 and you got it yeah all right so that brings me to the final one mario in the mario world uh yeah, that's really tough. I mean, I like Mario RPG. Yeah, really I like the, I like Mario Kart and everything. Um, I guess I just went with a little different of a route. Um, Mario Party because it's a really fun game. Uh, that oh, there you, go. you can play with other people other than just doing like, you know, speed runs or you're doing Mario World where you take turns on boards. This way, it's it's like a board game, and I'm a huge fan of like Monopoly and stuff like that. Um, you know, not everyone likes board games, but certain ones I really like. And it just reminds me of it, but it's a virtual way to do it. And then you know, it's like a bunch of mini games in one, and getting like good at that. I think I had the one for the Wii. I don't know what number that was, or if it was just the Wii version. But I played that a lot, and then it opened my eyes to it, and I started playing some of the older ones. And I haven't played the newest one on Switch. I haven't really played at any Switch, so I'm gonna have to get on that sometime yeah. this year. 
play some Switch, borrow it from someone, or <laughs> hopefully it'll price drop. <laughs> Still pretty expensive. Yeah, hopefully. But that's it. That is our questions. And we got one for you, so I'm going back. Same thing I asked Krog. What game did you love that you thought you would never play? And yeah. Yeah, what game what game were you like, oh I'm never gonna play this? That thing it looks stupid, and then you found yourself a year later, like jamming out hundreds of hours of it. So write that down in the comments below, hit the sub button on the way down. I am QWERTY here with Krog signing out. Yo, See yo, you yo. in the next video. Peace! Peace.